I don't really have this mentality of I have I'm like defending now. It's really weird. She gets it done and dusted in one hour and 20 minutes. Naomi Osaka is welcome back to Melbourne. I've been fortunate to, you know, have seven titles in Australian Open and, and kind of live probably my best moments on the court in any tournament here in Australia. Fairly workmanlike performance from the defending champion here. He will be happy to have guided himself into the second round. Those first round, as we know, it can always be very tricky. Coming into Australia without having played a competitive match. This is the sort of the unknown that can be a little bit scary at times, but today it's none of that. Any concerns that any Federer fans may have had given his lack of competitive matches are put to bed. You know, as tough as it was, I was fortunate to get myself to be here. You can see what it means to Vekic to beat somebody in the women's game of the stature of Maria Sharapova. And it's tough for me to tell what's going to happen in 12 months' time. We try to play catch-up after much of the outside court schedule was uh, washed out yesterday. Getting punched in the face of, like, with one shot, in, in that case is the serve. Serving aces, key wide on the line, so precise, so accurate. If you cannot keep up with it, you're down. A Milos masterclass. Ranic takes out six seeded Stefano Tsitsipas in straight sets. A champion that needs no real introduction. 23 time champion at the majors, Serena Williams. I've won them all several times, so each of them definitely are, is an opportunity for me to go out there and win. Wang produces one of the most wondrous shots of the tournament so far. It's about just me playing good tennis, and I didn't do that today. And if you want to see an illustration of what a great champion looks like under pressure, you just saw it. I can't play like that, and like I literally can't do that again. That's unprofessional, and it's not cool. I feel like even before the tournament, I think almost every player has a belief that they can win it. My mission is to be the greatest. That's my goal, to win as many Grand Slams as possible. So yeah, I believe I can beat everyone. Remember the date, January 24, 2020. At 15 years of age, Coco Goff, take a bow. Two years ago, I lost first round in juniors, and now I'm here, like, this is crazy. <laughs> So here on Margaret Court Arena, it could very well be the last time that we get to see Carolyn Wozniacki. There's a lot of emotions, a lot of things I can't compartmentalize right now. And she's got it! Andre Burr lives to fight another date, the Australian Open. Takes out Caroline Wozniacki. I'm ready for the next chapter. I'm ready to do something else. I'm ready to not have a schedule and I'm just excited to see what the next chapter brings. The cheers ring out for another Federer victory, his hundredth here in the most dramatic fashion at the Australian Open. I'm happy I had that, that match uh, tonight and I hope I would feel the same way also if I would have lost, to be honest. We've just seen the full kaleidoscope of this man's talent. Why couldn't I close this match earlier and all these things and then all of a sudden you turn the whole thing around within like two minutes. But while we celebrate his success, let's salute John Millman. I think it's important to have different endings at every slam. We got that. And I'm making sure I experience them all before I leave the game. <laughs> my best match of the tournament so far, without a doubt. He puts away Karina Busta for her fifth time and puts himself in the fourth round of the Australian Open. Of course, it's important to, to make a steps forward. And it's clear that today I make an important one. Nick Kyrgios! 
the reception was about as deafening as I've heard in any stadium. Yeah, it was definitely one of the craziest matches I've ever been a part of. Uh, it was insane. Oh, that is ridiculous! I could just feel everyone in the crowd and just everyone just trying to win the only one. It's a good feeling. Kyrgios wins an epic on the Melbourne Arena. What a reception for the young woman from Ipswich. She carries the hopes of a nation tonight. I tried to, to create my own style for me to try and play and, and develop and grow into. Ash Barty's dream of becoming the first Australian woman to win on home soil in 42 years remains alive.